Hello and welcome back to another Demis Helen tutorial. We're going to take a look at the relationship between sounds. This is a very misunderstood concept of choosing sounds because a lot of people will hear something and you'll try to analyse this and come up with the sound on a synth that seems to work or sort of fits but it's not quite there but it's good enough and that's fine that's absolutely fine if you can make that sound into one but a lot of the times things are layered now you can hear like these two pads are layered here at the moment one is very obviously different to the other and I'll show you that in a second and then mainly I was layering this bass up I was actually creating this lower portion of the bass here that is lit up as a kind of main seating base. So this is a template project that I've got set up and I was just testing out how to get a different bass sound for a different sounding progressive track. So what I was doing is creating this in June 3. So let's just take a look here. So this is created in June 3 and we've just got a little bit of use of the MSEC. If you haven't already seen the videos, by the way, on June 3, the Learning June 3 series, you can find that on screen now and down in the description. And this sound is just compromised of one layer. So you can see we've only got one active voice and voice number two and three are not working. So that's fine. So we've got three unison voices. We've got a minimized detune and spread set to zero with the reset on. So the oscillator is re-triggering the same phase point every time. It's not trying to create this wide saw sound that you'd usually associate with say a super saw or creating some sort of like pluck instrument and then the sound design is left to the frequency sync shaping here and the filter with the built-in effect so we've got the filter shaping with 18 db low pass with a little bit of envelope which is then set here to analog and then just shaped to the sound that i wanted and then i've used a phaser at a set point on the amount and then this MSEG slides that down or up depending on how I set that. So if you look in the mod matrix it's minus 31 so it's actually decreasing the amount and it gives the appearance that it's doing some sort of like pitch stop or do you know like the tape stop sound that you can get on certain plugins. And we have this bass here which is a lot thinner and again this is a preset coming out of June 3 which I've just tweaked to fit with my style of the track. And this one provides more of the bounce, the rubbery texture that I'm looking for in a bass to just give it a little bit of groove and a little bit of bounce along with the quantization swing set to around 55% here on Cubase. So let's have a listen to the two sounds on their own. So it's very bouncy, it's got a happy vibe to it. It's very thin, doesn't have any weight to it. Then the second sound is adding the weight, the grit and the movement in the lower portion of the bass. So let's have a listen to that one. And there we are. You could hear the little bit of a pitch bend there at the end. It's not, it's just moving the phaser position on that effect. And that gives it a nice little touch to the track. Now with these two together, you're gonna to get this really thick, gnarly and bouncy at the same time bass sound. And it just sounds awesome when they're both together. Stick the kick in there. It's starting to sound really good. So in context with everything, let's just seat it with everything, including my Atmos and my effects. Let's have a listen to how that bass translates across the track. bass is sitting a little bit up front at the moment that's the way it's been mixed and this is a work in progress but that bass has its position it stands on its own the kick stands on its own the hats are a little bit loud at the moment but they are also standing on their own everything has a place and that bass is not interfering in any shape or form with the low end it's not creating muddiness it's not dissolving the kick into nothing everything is just sitting nicely and sound design choice is an absolute essential skill to have when you are a producer. 
So let's take another example down here. These two are complementing each other. One is sort of in the background. It's a little bit floaty, uh, but it has more of a solid core. So it's got a bit of floatiness to it, but it's got more centralized. And it doesn't have that wow factor. It doesn't have that... Ooh, that's filling the whole space. It is just something there to support. So this is the phaser pad. And the filter does open here at this point, but it's really just for the break. And then this, what is called mini pad. It's adding the wow factor, it's adding the little sparkly sections, all the little things that happen after the key has been hit. So it's more like a keys preset than a pad, but it does have that pad element. And that comes with June 3, so you can use that as soon as possible if you already have it. So now you can hear that phaser pad has taken more of an effect. It's now supporting the center part. The floaty bit from the second pad is providing that nice sparkly section, but this is now underpinning some low end, but not tons of low end that it conflicts with the bass that we've already got playing. Arguably, we could have a little bit more of the lower mids in there, but these two are fine as they are. I'm keeping them there. And then on top of that with my melody, that sits really nice with how that softly that hits. And just as a side note, that really works nicely where you just disjoint the notes a little bit so they fall not just smoothly, they kind of have a little bit of a jump or a bounce to kind of complement how the bass is moving up above. And it's, well, should we say down below, it's up above on my mix. And it just kind of complements both ends of the spectrum. This is very straight rhythm and that is very syncopated and swung. By the way, the pluck is called FC Tomorrow from Vital. It is out of my new Vital pack, Vital Trans Volume 2. So you can grab that over at my website, demishelen.com. Link in the description. And there we are. That's just a touch on the relationship between sounds. I just wanted to start to just see what interest this generates between people. If it is something that we want to talk further and look at how to develop. If you wanted to make a patch straight from the box at the base level and build it with another one like I did with this one, we could do that in a future video if you are all interested. If you are, let me know down in the comments and hit the like so I can see how many of you are actually wanting to see that video. And finally, hit subscribe so you get notified when these videos go live. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.